My name is Austin Marks and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm currently a respiratory therapist and on my channel I mainly make videos talking about respiratory therapy. However, I do have a few other videos so if you want to check those out, if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. So I recently made a video talking about why I'm not going to PA school and a lot of that had to do with investing my money and how my money is making money for me. So I just gonna kind of want to share what I'm investing in and how I'm making my money work for me and what you should potentially be doing as well. So I invest the probably 15 to 20 percent of my uh, income and that goes directly into a Roth IRA which is non-taxable. I have a whole video talking about the difference between a Roth IRA and a 401k. So I do contribute to my 401k but I just do the bare minimum because that will be taxed later in life and if you look at history, where do you think taxes are going to be in the future? Taxes are going to be higher. Um, with the Roth, they're not going to be taxed whatsoever. All that money is yours. Like I said, that video goes over everything. I will put the link to that video in the description below. Well, anyway, I put most of my money into the Roth IRA. However, you can only invest so much into that uh, each year. All the extra money I kind of save, I'm saving up for a rental property or some kind of Airbnb type thing. However, I don't want that money just sitting there, so therefore I am investing it into the market. So I don't invest into single companies because those companies are more likely to collapse. So what I do is I invest into uh, basically ETFs. So VOO is a good one that I like. This is the S&P 500. So it basically just tracks the market so therefore, let's say I invested all my money into Apple and Apple crashed, um, I would essentially lose all my money. However, if I invest all my money into this ETF, which tracks 500 companies into one little basket, so I own a little part of all these companies, all of those companies would have to crash for me to lose all my money, which is most likely not going to happen unless there's an overall crash. Um, but if you look at this chart here, you can obviously see that anytime there was ever a small crash, it all came back. However, if one little company crashes, there's no guarantee that that's going to come back. Um, some companies, yes, other companies, no. Uh, but that's why I invest in ETF that basically follows the market because it has always, always, always come back. So how much should you be investing? So I'm going to throw up another chart and this chart here kind of shows how much you should be investing per age if you want to retire with so much money by the end of your retirement. So now, like I said, I invest my money into a Roth IRA. You can do the same thing for a 401k. You can invest much more money into a 401k than you can a Roth each year. I go over all that in the other video. However, you kind of want to stick with this chart and just kind of do what this chart is saying because if you want to retire and actually be able to enjoy your later years, you want to invest. You want to save up for retirement. And like I said, I go ahead and invest my money. So I put it in there and I let it sit and I'm not touching it whatsoever. So I don't trade stocks. I don't buy Apple on this day when it's low and then sell it on this day when it's high because Warren Buffett once said that it's better to be in the market than it is to time the market, something along that line. Um, essentially, you're not going to beat the market. 99% um, of the people who try fail, and therefore they end up not making as much money as they could, plus they gotta pay taxes, and it's just a big mess. Just throw your money in there, let it set, put it in something that's going to track the market. So I also invest my money into dividend stocks, so I like something known as REITs, which is a real estate investment trust. Um, so essentially this is a company that invests in a lot of real estate and each month they collect the rent from the uh, renters and then they pay it out to their investors. So I invest in one known as AGNC and this pays me every single month. So every single month I'm collecting a paycheck and I'm just using that money to buy even more. That way the next month I can make even more money. So this is just kind of talking about my investments and why I think you should invest in certain things rather than some things. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope this makes a little bit more sense to you. If you want to make, if you want me to make any more videos talking about investing or you just have some questions, make sure you leave in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Well, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.